Thanks, miniature and gaming artists. Good to see you again. Oh, I, I can't see you. Anyway, let's pretend I see you. I'm glad you're there watching anyway. So today, I'm going to do part two of my making of my random D&D character. So if you remember back to last time, here's a quick recap. That's right. Anyway, if you couldn't keep up, last I'll link it to the video here, wherever I link it to, is the first part to this, where we randomly generated a character and we came out with Glinro C. and Oldle, the Wood Elf Warlock, and we designed him and we started to tell his story. Well, guess what, folks? Here's part two, where we make him. <laughs> three-dimensional. So today I'm going to sculpt him in ZBrush uh, to get him ready to be able to send off to Shapeways and get printed as a mini so we can play him in our D&D adventures. So um, yeah, today's a time lapse of me sculpting him in ZBrush. Uh, it took a little longer than I expected, but I hope you like the results. Um, in the end, you know, I kind of rushed it out the door in the end so I could get it done because I want to get it printed as a miniature. So um, and also, while we sculpt Glinro today, we're going to also um, tell the rest of his story. I left you before as he got into the city. So if you want to find out what uh, happened up till now, you should watch part one. Again, linked somewhere I'm pointing or in the description below. Below. That's a funny word. Anyway, um, so let's carry on our story of Glinro C. and Oldle, the wood elf as he emerges in three dimensions. La 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 I had a small little software crash and lost the first part of this movie, but I began by building the base mesh out of Z spheres in ZBrush, and this is where I got to, so I'm picking it up from there. So, we left Glinro in the story last time, and. He had been orphaned along with his sister from their community. And they were living in the city, the street urchins. And for wood elves, especially young children wood elves, this is pretty soul destroying. So as the years went by, Glenro became more and more twisted. And both him and his sister became involved in the darker aspects of street life. One night while scavenging for food, Glinro discovered a secret or hidden entrance into the city library. And he became obsessed with the ancient text and the promise of power as he snuck in there each night to read late at night. You see, his vengeance had grown and his lack of memory of what had really happened that night in the forest was driving him wild. He couldn't reconcile it for himself. Eventually one night he was discovered by the old gnome librarian reading texts and the old gnome librarian felt pity for the young wood elf who was obviously lost and living on the streets and kind of took a shine to him and took him under his wing. He helped him to read some of the text and to learn some of the different languages and also started to talk to him of the ways of spell casters which Glinro had become obsessed with. He was secretly being driven for the need for power to be able to resolve for himself what had happened in his past. As the years went on, Glinro submerged himself more and more in the texts of spellcasting, but with very little guidance from an actual spellcaster to teach him he was frustrated that he couldn't actually wield any of the power. Whilst his distraction was taking place with these texts, Glinro's sister had succumbed to a life of crime and a wanton lifestyle in the city. He often would get angry with her and begged her to change her ways. One night, after being in the library, he was told by another of the street people that there had been an incident. Glinro frantically searched for his sister and he found she had been murdered and left in an alley. It drove him wild with anger. 
He searched and searched around till he found the men that had done it in a drunken stupor and he took revenge on all of them. With no family and a rage that burned deep inside him, he ran through the streets. When a vision of an old woman with butterflies came to him, she told him to come to her as he was now ready to discover his true power. He remembered the woman from a, being a child and remembered that she had saved him in the forest. He followed the butterfly in a daze blindly into the forest, where he came upon his old village, which was now in ruins. And this is where the kind old woman stood. She soothed him and said she would grant him all the power he would ever need to become the strongest spellcaster in the land. All he needed to do was make a pact to her. And he, he said, who are you? And she said, I am one of the Fae. I will take care of you. He was so driven with rage, he blindly accepted the pact. And unknowingly to him, he had made a pact with one of the oldest, most powerful and evil archfey hags in the region. Auntie Peggy Mudwallow. But Glenro did not care. He was filled with power as he became a warlock. He swore he would serve Auntie Peggy Mudwallow and scour the land in her bidding, as well as searching out the answers to what had happened to his village as a young boy. Unbeknownst to him that maybe the answer was right under his nose. Glinro became a powerful and notorious warlock throughout the lands, destroying many evil powers as well as exacting deeds that were questionable himself in the name of revenge and in the name of Auntie Peggy Mudwallow. What adventures were in store for Glinro in his future? What would happen if he ever found out the source of the destruction of his village? What would it be like to serve Auntie Peggy Mudwallow? These are questions for another day. But let's sit back as we watch the final emergence of our three-dimensional warlock before he gets sent off to be manifested in the real world. Ha 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 ha! It's a slightly sad tale of Glinro, but thanks for watching. See, how do you find out what happens to Glinro? Well, you could take that character and you could use him in your adventures. I'm going to put his character sheet again in the description below. And uh, for those of you who are patrons, you will get the digital model of Glinro available to download for yourself. And then in future, once I've got him printed, I'll make him available through my Shapeway store. So that's what's next. Now that he's finished, I'll send him off. Wait till he comes back. When I do that, I'll do my unboxing video and we can see what the Glenro miniature will come out looking like. If you like my video, please like and subscribe. It helps me to help you. And then if you want to get goodies, 
and you want to become a patron of mine, please go to Patreon in the link below and you can join up and get lots of good stuff included in your patronage. Anyway, who knows? I will do some more characters in the future. What will they be? If you have suggestions or anything you want to see, put them in the comments below. Otherwise, look out for Glenroe. Zah!